Today we'll celebrate with a different type of bubbly, bubble charts. The thing about bubble charts is they're one of the few ways you can express your information in both length, height, and breadth. Here's an example of how this works. I'll create some axes and create some data and insert a bubble chart. What's being represented here is in the first column where the information data points fall on the x-axis. So for example, I take our last item, which is at point 3, and I want to move it further out, let's say at point 5. You see how by putting a number in, it adjusts accordingly. And the other numbers are adjusting for the uh, difference in size and space. If I wanted this item here now at point 5 to fall further up the chart, let's say at oh, point zero 0.08, then that's the y-axis I'm affecting. And up it jumps. And if I, right now it's a size 5, but if I instead made a size 3, instead of big, we'll make it smaller, size 3, it gets tiny. So that's what I mean by it allows you to express in three different dimensions, x, y, and z. And data like this can be brilliantly illustrated in bubble points with respect to the city locations, populations, and visitors. To get to that point, I started by putting our information in, and we'll just identify what these labels are. These are different cities. Here's our tourism and population. Then we'll insert our bubble chart. If I select the chart, I can change the design elements of it, maybe a different color. If I click on the data points, it selects all the points, and then I can add labels. By right-clicking on the data points and going into Format Data Labels, I can be specific as to which types of labels I want to add. Let's say instead of the Y value, the X value. So the locations are there. Then to really make our chart stand out, I'll borrow a web browser, access a page that has a picture of the flag of Thailand on it, and copy that. Back in our Excel chart, I can select the data point that is Bangkok, a city in Thailand. Now when I first click, it chooses all the data points, so I'll have to do another single click to choose specifically that data point. Right click and format the data point. What I'll do is we'll change the fill using a picture that was pasted from what's on my clipboard. If I did that with all of the different data points, my finished chart would look something like this.